going on everybody this is Barrett here from the sealed reef coming to you on the 9th of December 2019 with a what is it a six month update seven month um, of the reefer 450 um, it's been almost geez that would have been four and a half months ago since I've done an update on this thing sorry to uh, disappoint if those are disappointed however just life has uh, been busy but um, anyway I want to give an update on the 450. Um, it's changed a lot since last time you saw it. We have a ton more coral, quite a few more fish, fish that are actually alive, um, and fish that are dead. So that's kind of happens on the brand new fish tank, especially the first few months. Um, I've learned my lesson a lot is to not overcrowd your tank immediately after starting it up, even though we used uh, some turbo start from Fritz um, and made sure the Parameters are stable. However, sometimes nature just, nature just needs to take its course over time. Anyway, so it's going amazing actually. Um, the corals, I this started as a primarily a SPS or Acropora tank. However, I started out with a, um, really just a one brain coral and a uh, not, not a Trechophilia or Westophilia really just one of those um, maize brain corals and it did really well for a while and so I started to get more confidence in adding other ones so from that uh, I started kind of doing more of a mixed reef because it's hard to stay disciplined to just Acropora or one species of, of coral so I just wanted to do a video montage of all the coral growth the past six months and hopefully you guys enjoy it um, this has been my joy to watch these corals grow so if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you guys here in the backside.
little montage. Um, I've been working a long time on that, so hopefully you enjoyed all that. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, so starting with equipment, we have the Red Sea RSK 300. The Nios 160 just wasn't cutting it. Um, amazing little skimmer. Super love it. I am running the Refugium with Chato and the Kessel A160 Grow Light. That thing is incredible. It grows Chato like nobody's business. That started off pretty much like a softball, and uh, that's probably about a month now of growth. I need to cut back and uh, donate it to my local fish store lady. She's pretty awesome. But anyway, I am running the uh, Core 20 from Neptune Systems. Amazing little uh, return pump. Things done me no wrong and uh, continues to perform as expected. As you can see, I am have the Apex probes back there, and I am running the Hydrofill by Innovative Marine um, for my ATO. There are two electrical probes there, which basically tell my uh, 50 milliliter per minute um, return pump, excuse me, ATO top off pump uh, to turn on. So it's pretty incredible. It pumps it all the way from my garage, which is probably about 60 feet away, uh, to my uh, sump to top off my tank with fresh water from my outdoors reservoir. So that's pretty much the sump area right there. Um, looks super clean. Uh, keep it pretty simple, nothing crazy, no huge manifold. Don't need that. I have carbon if I need to, but haven't had to use it yet. Moving on to the calcium reactor, which is something I haven't had, uh, but uh, probably about three months now since my last update, you did not see it. Uh, this is way oversized for this tank. This belongs to a tank up to 450 gallons. However, I wanted to uh, buy in case I needed to uh, upgrade later on. I didn't have to buy a whole new um, calcium reactor. So it's a 9 inches across with uh, little, two little fishies uh, media. I am running the Kimura dosing pump, the FT, FTP, SX, whatever it is, peristaltic pump at about 8 milliliters per minute. Um, of the affluent works amazing keeps my alk about 8.3 calcium about 430 and I don't run magnesium in it I just uh, dose that as needed because I tried the magnesium um, in the inside there with the little pellets and that just made my magnesium spike to about 1500 which is too high for me and I noticed some uh, negative side effects of course I have the mp40 Everything hanging up inside nice and neat on my uh, Apex board and running the Apex display just so I can have a quick glance of it. Yes, my pH is low because um, apparently I have a lot of hot, hot air in this house with CO2 excess, so, so I'm running this, this scrubber. Um, but it doesn't keep up and the media I use apparently runs out pretty quick. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching um, this video. It's been an amazing experience so far these last six months. Definitely looking forward to the next six months and getting this tank to a year. Um, if you guys want to see any more content, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe and hit that bell. Um, I know that uh, it's been a long time for me, but I'm looking to make these videos more consistent. Some more deep dives into my equipment. And I'm uh, really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it and kind of how you, what you guys think about the, the corals and the growth so far. Appreciate it, guys. Hope you're doing well. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you all soon. Mm -hmm.